Hi, welcome to Unique Parenting. I am Be Moist, and today we're going to talk about morning routine or your morning routine. And when we're talking about your morning routine, we have to get into your evening routine because in order for you to have a successful, peaceful, calm, you know, less chaotic morning, your evening must also be as smooth as possible because your evening will seep into your morning routine because you can have fatigue, there's exhaustion, if your child didn't get enough sleep, if you didn't get enough sleep. So really your morning routine starts the day before. So to not necessarily perfect your morning routine, but definitely to create a more balanced morning routine, let's look into what are you doing the evening prior? How How is bedtime? How does it look like? What does it look like? Um, how is dinner time? Like all these things kind of bleed into the morning because if the child is cranky, tired, exhausted from the day before, from the night before, in the morning they're going to also be cranky, tired, and exhausted because they're not well rested. And a brain that is not well rested is a very, very unhappy and unsettled brain. So really, I want you to focus on your evening routine to really get a better handle on the morning. Now, the night before, I try as best as I can in my family to do as much as possible. I am not a morning person. <sighs> it's not my vibe. That's not what I like. Um, so I'm a big prep the night before. I like to set everything that I need to, prepare as much as I can. If I could prepare breakfast at night, I would. <laughs> that's how that's how serious it is for me. But um, but really having a handle on the night before, putting your book bags away. Um, putting homework, all these different things that in the morning you're short for time. So usually the anxiety is up in the morning because people have places to go and somewhere to be. So now everything is rushed. And when you rush the situation, you're rushing the environment, anxiety goes up. So everyone's anxiety increases. Therefore, the chaos in the environment just seems more chaotic than it actually is or it needs to be. So prepping the night before can decrease some, some level of anxiety, prepping water bottles, book bag, checking off homework, um, even something as, you know, not complicated, but might be complicated depending on where you are at on your parenting journey, putting shoes away, tying shoes, um, not forgetting about shoes. We had a big shoe problem in our home. Um, so, you know, I used to have my son place his shoes inside the car so that we could just go and we could put shoes on on our route. So things like that, like try to think about how can you decrease your morning um, routine with things that you have to do so that you're not taking in from the time because you, you may be running short on time for the bus, for you to get to work, the car lane, whatever it may be. Now that's just, you know, the tangible things. There's also the bedtime routine. What time are you going to bed? What time are you turning off electronics? What time are you detoxing? What time are you unwinding from, you know, the day because the child may not be well rested? If your hit time for bed is nine o'clock and you start to prepare for it at 8.30, that's not enough time. You may want to start to wind down two hours prior to that. So we're talking about if you wanna hit nine o'clock, seven is your wind down time. Um, you know, ease of the evening, decrease of things, slowing things down, bath time, if that's where you guys are currently at. Um, all these things need to happen in a really cool, calm and collected manner. Um, also, you know, medication, whatever needs to happen because the easier your evening, the less stressful and chaotic your morning. So your morning routine is really based on how well prepared you are the day before. Now, you can have the possibility of being very well prepared in the evening, but then mornings are still chaotic. Let's take a step back and look at what's happening during the morning. Uh, observe it. Is it too chaotic? Are you rushed? Are you stressed? Are you adding things in the morning routine that a child may not be expecting, therefore increasing the level of anxiety for the morning. So if you have a great evening routine, but your morning is not going really well, sit back, take some notes, look at it, observe it, see what can be changed or where the point of communication is not really occurring or where the breakdown in communication has occurred. So 
that's my recommendation for a morning routine. Focus on the evening so that your morning can go a lot smoother. And if your evenings are smooth, reevaluate what's happening during the morning and make some changes as needed. So do not forget to pick up my book, Our Neurodivergent Journey. I do have a full, complete um, recipe, <laughs> lack of a better word, for the morning routine. So it's that's just what's worked for us. And, you know, having a child on the spectrum, we needed to have a good evening to have a better morning. So in the meantime, I want you all to enjoy your unique parenting journey with your unique child.